Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for uh, Cancer. This is going to be for the second half of your June from the 16th to 30th. Um, so this could be in anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, we're going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys for the uh, second half of your month. And then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are and what else you guys need to know. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in, the, is in the description box below. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situation, uh, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me, okay? And also a quick note that these messages are not really meant to be cross-watched, flipped, twisted, or reversed. Uh, so... Uh, this reading is more for so, more so for cancers that are on a spiritual path of personal growth and spiritual growth. But if you want to cross watch or switch the roles, you can feel free to do so. Okay. All right, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer here? Over energies for Cancer. What is surrounding Cancer for the second half of the June from the 16th to the 30th? Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements, even your nodes, since uh, this could be in anything. Nothing specific. It could be love, relationships, friendships, finances, career, spiritual development, personal development. We're going to see what the cards have to say, okay? All right. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. We have the Eight of Cups. All right. Some of your... Okay, so I'm feeling like that Eight of Cups could be in the reverse here because I feel like someone here is coming in to offer an apology. Someone here that walked away from you that wants to come back, okay? You could be dealing with another cancer here. Some of you guys might be walking away for a new opportunity here too uh, regarding uh, an opportunity in, in like the arts or something like that. I also feel like with that Page of Cups and that Eight, eight of Cups, someone here dropped the ball here or dropped the fish, okay? Because there is a fish in the cup. Okay, we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the uh, Two of Cups. Okay. So, Cancer. There is someone that's spying on you to see whether you're in their new relationship or not. And I feel like this person wants to come back. Now, this person might might be finding out that you are in the relationship and they're, they're still coming back anyway. Or that they're trying to reach out to you. Uh, perhaps you're doing this. So, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Page of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords here and the Nine of Wands. Someone here is definitely coming in to speak the truth here. You know, this could be an indication that you're having some sort of breakthrough in regards to this younger energy and that you're cutting this person out because this person has, uh, you know, hurt you a lot. Okay. You know, because that Nine of Wands could represent trauma. Yeah. Re represent trauma, pain. Or you're just like completely tired of this individual, yeah? So that Ace of Swords, you know, represent you know, like, like awakenings, breakthroughs here, or that you, you know the truth here, okay? Or that you're seeing the truth for what it is regarding this person here. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. The uh, Eight of Cups here and the Ace of Cups. Oh. Someone here is offering apology. Someone here is coming back towards you. Now, whoever this is, this is someone here who walked away to be with someone else and now they want to come back. This King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, this is the energy, you know, that's, that loves attention from other people here. Okay, um, so you could be de dealing with someone here who is an is an attention whore. Okay, um, you know this this is a very good looking individual. This person dresses really well. This person might be, you know, very fit also too. But this person behaves like a little child though. 
okay? I'm getting that this person's always looking for the next best thing, okay? Because that page of swords is the energy of being on social media, talking to other people, on dating sites, talking to other people here, and meeting new people. I just feel like this person's just not really satisfied with anything in life, whoever this is. Page of Swords, we have the Hangman here, Piscean Energy, and the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Swords here. Yeah, someone here is definitely rushing back. I feel like this person's gathering information before they take any sort of action towards you here. So the Hangman, Piscean Energy, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, whoever this individual is, this person has a lot to say. I also feel like this person could really talk a lot too, like really talk your ear off, okay? Um, yeah, lots of swords here. So this person talks a lot. And this person could be in their head a lot here too. No, just overthinking. Uh, Ace of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone here is definitely coming in with an apology. I, I feel like, you know, with the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups and the Nine of Wands here, I feel like this person's apologizing or acknowledging that they, they've hurt you here with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. And the four of wands. Could be dealing with the twin flame here. But this is an individual that's very selfish. I feel like this person is only always picking themselves for their own selfish needs. Yeah, this person's like no bueno. This person stresses you out. This person is just a burden or that you're feeling like this person's a burden. You feel like this person make promises and then blows your world up and, you know, and pretends like nothing happens. Now, this doesn't have to be regarding like a romantic partner. I mean, this could be with a friend, with a family member. Maybe, you know, maybe this could be your child, okay? Or that you could be the child and this is like a parent, all right? Yeah, someone here likes to throw hand grenades and pretends like they didn't do it. Whoever, whoever this is, okay? All right. Outcome and advice here for Cancer regarding their situations. What else do we have here for Cancer for the second half of their June? What else does Cancer need to know here? Yeah, this is an individual, I feel like, you know, they blow things up, but, you know, this is a type of individual that doesn't take responsibilities or leave any fingerprints. So I feel like this is, you know, it's not showing here, but I feel like this could be a very sneaky individual. You know, I feel like this person could talk their way out of anything. You know, if this person got in trouble, they'll find a way to get out of it. They'll talk their way out of it. If this person got in trouble with the law, this person could talk their way out of it. This person might even have experience with the law here too. So I feel like this person has knowledge of it and finds way out of it. You know, that Knight of Swords is an indication that this person could have served, served in the military. This person might be a police officer or something like that, okay? If, it, if this person is not, not a lawyer, I feel like this person would make a very, very, very great lawyer because I feel like this person has a way with, uh, has a way with words, okay? The Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Magician here. Okay, so there you are right here with the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo Energy. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have the Wheel of Fortune here and the World. Yeah, you know, um, whoever this individual is, I do feel like this is a past individual. I just feel like you already cleared out this karmic cycle here a long time ago. And this is something that, something that you don't want to go back towards. I feel like you just want to keep moving forward. I feel like you just want to keep manifesting new things in your life. Okay? So, you know, since you may be separated from this person or that you stopped talking to this person, there could have been a lot of progress in your life. Okay? So we have the, uh, the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune and the World. Let's see what else we have here. We have the Six of Swords and the Sun. Things are going really well in your life, Cancer. Yeah, you just don't have, you just don't really have time for the drama or the dramatics here, okay? Uh, Leo energy, Six of Swords, things are pretty stable, things are pretty calm. Uh, you know, I feel like you just don't want, you just don't want this person coming back to puncture holes in your boat and sink the boat here. Uh, keep in mind, this person's carrying swords, okay? So, um, Let's see what else we have here. 
Tell me about the chariot. We have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you've worked so hard in, uh, you know, your progress here. You just don't want to go back. Okay, the magician. We have the five of swords. You don't have time for the games. Like I said, the dramatics here. Okay, uh, I feel like this is you avoiding this person. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Knight of Wands, the world, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is you focusing on your passions. You know, it could be an indication that you enjoy being on your own. You enjoy being a free spirit, okay? You enjoy your freedom and your independence, okay? You could be out there meeting new people and just hanging out, having a good time. And like I said, uh, you know, with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands here, you're focusing on your passions. Now, this other person here, I, you know, this person could be coming back because they want to get in bed with you and bonk you or something like that, whoever this is. You know, because that Knight of Wands could be a very, 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 very sexual energy, okay? Um, and this person might only think with their wieners, okay? Um, we have Judgment, Sagittarius energy and the Six of Swords. Sagittarius energy with Judgment, the Sun, and the Strength card. Seems like you're happy with where you're at in life. Yeah. You know, I feel like with judgment, you're seeing the truth for what it is. You accepted it for what it is, and there's no going back for you. Yeah, I just feel like with the two of swords, you're just going to block this person. Yeah, you're just on your own little path here. You're, own, you're, you're in your own little bubble, and I, I feel like you're, you're, you're kind of good. Yeah, you're good, happy, stable, okay? So, um, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.